What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more trance. We're going to listen to a tune by Quiet Man. Uh, this is a couple guys who were originally part of Friends, Lovers, and Family, and then they uh, went on to do tracks as a duo uh, as Quiet Man. Uh, not only do I have one of their albums, maybe their only album, I'm not sure, um, but I have an album of theirs. I have a couple of different EPs. One of them is on Platypus, uh, and this is from 1998. I've talked about Platypus before. Really cool trance label. Sort of blended some different flavors of trance, melodic trance, hard trance, acid trance, even a bit of psi flavor here and there. Uh, so yeah, a really cool label run by Simon Barry, um, who you know shows up under various names on the label. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna listen to a tune that Quiet Man did called uh, The Sleeper. Uh, I have another single uh, by Quiet Man, uh, and it's called Now and Zen. Uh, that's a really famous trance tune. It's like on a lot of DJ mixes from back in the day, a lot of like compilations. We'll come back for that one, but I did want to start with this one because there are two different versions of it. I actually have, uh, this is an unrelated sleeve, but there's a compilation album uh, from Platypus which included the remix of this track by Man With No Name, Martin Freeland. Uh, we'll, we'll listen to them um, both on this EP here, uh, but I do actually have another copy of the Man With No Name remix, which I discovered, or not discovered, but uh, sort of went past when I was uh, looking for this one, so I figured I'd grab that as well. Uh, but yeah, this is from 1998. It's on the heels of, again, a very popular um, EP that they had put out a year earlier. Uh, once again, shout out to Platypus. Uh, not only like the logo, uh, or not only like the label, but the logo is sweet as well. Uh, but yeah, 1998, Quiet Man, this is The Sleeper, which is one of the main tunes that you will hear get brought up if people talk about a subgenre of trance, sometimes called cinematic trance. Um, it is what it sounds like, uh, and this track I think is indeed a great example. Admittedly a bit ripe, yeah? is the wrong side. That is Mr. Freeland's version. Normally you would expect... So wait, but they're saying that that... That's so weird. Normally the A side uh, is the side with the logo and not the information, but in this case it appears to be the opposite. Because if we hear strings, if we hear symphonic and keys, this is the original which admittedly has more mileage than I was remembering. Admittedly, I did play this a lot. Uh, this is another record I got very early on. Uh, I got my turntables in 98, I mentioned it before. Of the first hundred records or so, a lot of them were like progressive melodic trance.
now you're waiting on the piano. You know it's gonna float its way back into the track.
like parts A and B together with also this kind of dreamy, dreamy floaty hat, but that ascending scale leading into the tonal shift measure thing. Again, I apologize. That vinyl does have a little bit, little bit of a, uh, a a series of pops and surface noise sections, which you know, ultimately that's what happens with vinyl over the years. I've heard people say that you know it makes it more nostalgic and enjoyable. You know, as someone who collects vinyl, I can't quite get on board with that. I understand if you're listening to like a Platters like shellac record or something, and it's like, oh man, like this has been around 80 years. Uh, I do get um, the significance of that, but ultimately, um, yeah, for records that like you know are of the, the last few decades. Um, I personally, you know, prefer if they have none of that, but ultimately, um, yeah, it's a fantastic record and it's the only copy of that one I have. Now again, I have another copy of the remix, uh, and indeed, given the state that that was in, I think when we listen to the remix, I'm gonna listen to it on the other record, though it is, you know, a copy of it is on this record here. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the original. Uh, if you enjoyed that, come check out the remix um, by Martin Friedland, Man With No Name, uh, who actually does have a name, uh, because he is a more, he's like a Psytrance producer, a Goa trance producer, um, especially, you know, like classic uh, Goa in like the 90s. Um, released tracks on a couple different labels. I think he's in some ways known most for his stuff on Perfecto, although I think some of his best stuff is like before that was sort of his main output. Regardless, um, I'm a big fan of his tunes. Um, he still does DJ mixes to this day, still like really into the music uh, right up into the present. So shout out to Martin Freeland. And again, shout out to Quiet Man. This original, again, like I think of all the tracks given the label uh, Cinematic Trance, um, this is probably the most um, powerful in that regard. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Quiet Man, shout out to Platypus. Uh, we'll be looking forward to the Man With No Name remix. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>